Hello, I am Joey Siciliano, and I am the Vice President of the Rochester High School Band. Uh, all the band members and I would like to thank you for coming out tonight, and um, we all practiced really hard for this night, and we really hope you enjoy the show. And without th further ado, the Sixth Grade Band.
another song on the program that I forgot to put in the program called Trombone Rag. Now Trombone Rag is super fun because it has something called a glissando that we're going to have our trombones demonstrate for you right now so you know what you're listening for. Here we go, trombones, one, two, ready, go. <laughs> basically what the trombone's made for. We play a whole bunch of notes without tonguing any of them, and it makes that fun slidey sound that's so unique to the trombone. Here we go, trombone rag. So our last piece for the sixth grade band is going to be Pegasus, and I think we all know, I know our seventh graders just got really excited about that, um, Pegasus is a mythical horse with wings that can fly, so we're just going to try to make you guys imagine that with our song that we're about to play for you. Here we go. band did an awesome job and now we're going to hear our amazing seventh grade band so seventh grade stand up and we're going to switch spots with the sixth grade group on our stage is of course our seventh grade band which is another great group that we have at Rochester so this band 
has done an excellent job of going above and beyond what we are asked to do in the classroom. Um, we had district solo and ensemble this year, which was the first year that we've gotten to do it since I've been here um, because of COVID, of course. Um, so now I'm going to ask that if you are in solo and ensemble, that you stand when your name is read off. So we have Alex Porterfield, Nicole Hester, Braylon Pio, and Barrett Brown all participated. Please give them a round of applause. Not only that, but they got all gold and silver medals. So they did a fantastic job of preparing for that and working outside of school. Nice job, guys. We've also had students participate in District Honor Band. It's a selective band. Not everybody gets into it. Um, and this year we had Alex Porterfield and Braylon Pio, who both participated in District Honor Band. And last but certainly not least, um, we have one band member who participated in an extra honor band that was not district honor band, and she actually went all by herself, which I think is a very brave thing to do. And I've heard that it was a fun time and that she did a great job while she was there. Um, Kelsey Pearson in the back. We love seeing our students doing extra things because it just shows that our program is growing and getting better every single day. Um, I am not going to talk for the rest of the seventh grade portion of this concert. So after we are done, we are just going to have the high schoolers get up on the stage. I hope you enjoy the seventh grade selection.
Right, our last group of the night is the RHS concert band in front of you. Um, now, before they even start playing, I want to talk about how awesome this group is. So we talked about how the seventh graders have been going above and beyond. So has the high school. So these kids also went to district solo and ensemble and did amazing. Um, if you could please stand when your name is read, we would like to recognize your accomplishments. So people who participated are Joey Siciliano, Riley Wallace, Olivia Rude, Oliver Miller, William Van Heinegan, Carson Tribby, Frankie Siciliano, Daniel Yoakum, Carol Swanson, Emma Grace Jarrett, and Dylan Fishback. Let's give them a round of applause. just to brag for a second, they also got all golds and silvers. Nice job, guys. You can take a seat. Um, another thing that happened was we had a few of the students on the stage audition and get accepted for the Three Rivers Honor Band. Unfortunately, they were not able to attend because it turned out that, that Honor Band was on the same weekend as Solo and Ensemble. But we would still like to recognize their accomplishment of being accepted to this band that not everybody does. So please stand Oliver Miller, William Van Heinegan, and Dylan Fishback. Way to go, guys. <laughs> One more thing that we're going to talk about is that it is believe it or not, coming upon marching band season and thinking about the stuff for the summer. We start to think months and months ahead in the band world. And we have a video about our show, which has been circulating, and we would like to share that with you now. If you could please direct your attention to the screens on either side. to bring our show Movie Magic to you this August. Um, you guys may or may not know that John Williams, who has written the music for a lot of movies that you guys have seen throughout the years, is um, 90 years old this year. And so we are helping him celebrate a little bit by playing his music from some of his most famous movies that he's done. Um, and we would encourage anybody who is in the band program right now to just keep on going so that we can have marching band with all of you because it's super fun and exciting. Also, if you guys flip to the back of your program room right now, a little audience participation. On the back, there's a thing that says, follow us. If this was your first time seeing that video, it's probably because you are not following us on social media. So, I'm going to ask that right now you Follow us on one of these social medias, Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. I know someone's asking you to get your phone out during a concert. Shameful. But I am asking you to do that because we want to be able to spread news the best that we can and reach as many people as possible. So we ask that we do that, and hopefully that doesn't disrupt the live stream that I have going in the back. So thank you for doing that, and I'm going to stop talking now. Our first piece is going to be Lean On Me, which I think most of you will know. <laughs>
to thank you one more time for coming out tonight and thank you for supporting all of our groups. Um, we want to thank parents. We want to thank the people back in the back. We have Mrs. McMillan and her crew on lights and sound, which they do not have to do, but they do out of the goodness of their hearts. So thank you very much, Mrs. McMillan. Um, yes. I would also like to thank my husband who is sitting over there in the crowd, who teaches middle school band at Bremen and has kept me calm in the days before the concert. No one likes the days before the concert, and it's been a trying time between the two of us and our middle school band concerts. Um, now, you guys, parents, put in so much time listening to concerts, supporting your children, um, supporting them financially with getting instruments and everything. I have a question for you guys, though. When's the last time you heard your student practice at home? Okay, so I heard someone say zero. <laughs> if that answer is a low number, I am asking that you start incorporating a few words into your everyday routine, which is, have you practiced today? Or, if you're not feeling up to, have you practiced today? Have you practiced this week? As an entire band program, we have talked 6th through 12th grade about how everybody in this band program wants to get better. There's not a single person who's played tonight that wants to get worse at their instrument and who doesn't want to see this band program grow. And I know that all of you, just because you're here tonight, and those of you who are on the live stream watching, um, just because you're here and listening means that you want it to grow and get better too. And the only way that that happens, unfortunately, is if we practice at home. And parents, I know that sometimes we don't want to listen to squeaky clarinet, mm. all right? Or blatty trumpet or blatty trombone. We don't want to listen to the wrong notes, but those are the growing pains of band, and those start to go away as we practice more at home. So I'm going to ask that you, on top of everything else that you already do, which I know is a lot, start encouraging your student to take their instrument home and maybe even ask them to play something that they have been working on, and then, at the next concert, you can know if they did it right. You can look at them afterwards and say, that part that you've been practicing, mm-hmm. You need to do it more, all right? That's a challenge to all the parents out there. Um, now, they have had, um, we've talked about commitment to the band program, and all of the students are willing to do that. Shake your heads, yes. Yes. <laughs> all right. Um, and that really does start at home. And I thank you all for being so encouraging. And also, I want to just shout out to all the high schoolers who have stayed in band, because that's a big deal, all right? Band kids, when they go to college, when they get jobs, are the most widely accepted group of people in the workforce. In college, they get the most scholarships out of any group, because employers and colleges know that band kids, especially ones that went through high school band, are really committed. We are not born with instruments in our hands, and it takes a lot of work and a lot of growing pains in order to get good, and they've been doing an awesome job at that. So I encourage you to just keep pushing your students even when it gets hard, to stick with it, because there are a lot of benefits other than just getting to be in band that you guys get to have in the future. All of you guys have really bright futures ahead of you. And now, we are gonna play our last tune, which we have a lot of fun with here. It's in a special meter called Seven Eight, which means that you are going to see me um, flat my arms in a different pattern than normal. I hope you enjoy it. And then afterwards, students, we have to strike the stage. Yay, in seventh grade percussionist, I will need your help moving everything back in the band room. Thank you. Have a good night.
Thank you for coming out. It's time to strike the stage. Here we go. See you later.